Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today I am so excited to show you the few things that I made in the month of June. Um, if you remember my June plans video, I kind of kept things pretty concise because I knew that I was going to have company last month. I also went on a trip to New York City. If you missed my daily vlogs, they are all up on the channel. So I didn't go crazy with my plans and I still wasn't able to get them all done. But I did get a few things made. Three of them I was able to wear on my trip. So that was good and rewarding um, to be able to wear things that I had just made. So let's get right to it. The first thing is something I was really excited about. I'm pretty sure it's the first thing I made um, last month and that is McCall's 7774. As soon as I saw this version here, I just knew it was gonna be mine. I knew that I wanted a linen. I knew I wanted a stripe. I knew I wanted it to be red, white, and blue. And when I was at Joanne, um, the sewing gods shone upon me and presented me with the perfect fabric. And so here she is, super cute. I did also, of course, add the pockets. So you have a little side seam pocket there and then matched up the stripes on the back as well. So in general, I really do like this pattern. I found that the bust starts were a little long, so I shortened them. Um, did I make any other alterations? I don't think so. I think that that was all that I did for this number here. Um, I remember having not enough fabric for the band on the bottom, so I had to narrow the skirt um, by a few inches in order to have enough to do that band. And I can't remember if that was a layout issue or fabric quantity issue. I can't remember what it was, but, um, but it all worked out in the end because it is a very wide skirt. And so narrowing it, I thought was more flattering anyways. But, um, but yeah, the fabric is perfect. It's exactly how I envisioned, which you can't really ask for more than that. So I love wearing this one. Feels very patriotic. Feels very cute. Very, very cute. Again, that is McCall's 7774. It does have a couple of other versions um, without the like bodice. It's all one. Um, so I might try that, um, as well because, um, I do feel like it is a great little pattern. Um, oh, also I remember being worried that it was going to be too long. I think McCall's is sort of known for drafting their stuff really, really long for some reason, but I found that the length of this with no adjustments, no shortening at all, I'm 5'5". Five, five, um, was perfect. It hits just below the knee exactly where I wanted. So no issues on that one. They paid close attention to the length and so it matches how it should look like on this chick here. Okay, next up is this cute little, whoops, cute little top that I grabbed um, from this new Simplicity collection. This is Simplicity 8335. And I got it because I really love the back. So you can see the little chick there. Um, where is she? She's right there with the little ruffle detail in the back. Um, in the front, it's a relatively just plain boxy top with a cute ruffle sleeve. And then when you turn around, it's got this really cute ruffle. So I ended up making that out of every Southerner's favorite go-to woven seersucker. This is a very cute, very comfortable top. I will say though, it's a little on the short side and I should have known because Simplicity is to me known for like very true to length. Speaking of the McCall's one, which is normally longer than you need, these are usually pretty short. And I don't know if it's because they are drafted for like misses and like young adults, but 
it's pretty short. So if you are a modern woman and looking to not have something that hits right at your waistband on your pants or jeans, um, you're going to want to add some link to this one for sure. But other than that, I think it fits really great. It was really easy to put together. The construction of like the ruffle is fairly interesting. It's not as straightforward as I thought it would be. There's actually like a little facing that's in there that uh, uh, that kind of gives some stability to the ruffle. So there's this extra piece here that connects it to the side seams. So you guys can see how that's constructed a little bit. So again, um, great little pattern, but probably will, I'll definitely lengthen it at least by two inches next time, maybe even longer. Um, but it was great for the trip. I don't mind the crop length personally. It's just, I find it, I think it'd be more wearable if it were a little bit longer. So there's that. Speaking of, hold on, I dropped the pattern. Speaking of cropped shirts, <laughs> we have McCall 7779. And I think that I knew it was going to be short and I thought that I was going to be okay with that. But this is pretty short. Um, I did wear it for a full day and it was fine. Um, but again, I'd probably lengthen it next time just for a little bit more comfort. Um, but this is it. Also, this arm side, if you want to call it that, is a little low. Um, so I'm going to fill this in some along the arm next time. Um, and then the third issue I had with this one was that it does show it on the pattern envelope. If you look at B with the ruffle, you can see that B does show the wrong side of the fabric, but that just wasn't like registering to me when I looked at that picture. I feel like they should have been a little bit more clear that wrong side shows on B because I used this rayon poplin and the back side of it is like not as bright and vibrant as the front and so you can kind of you can kind of see that um, when I wear it. Not a lot but enough that it bothers me. So it's in the back and I mostly forget about it when I wear it. Um, also, washing a garment really does highlight <laughs> all of your worst sewing qualities. The um, little baby hem that I'm doing is unraveling already and I've only washed it twice. Oh goodness, so I'll have to figure out something for that. Maybe I'll just roll it under again, who knows. Or maybe not, maybe I'll just press it and I don't know that I'm gonna get much more wear out of this anyways because like I said, the arm size is really low and it's short. It's pretty short, uh, but it is really cute. And I do want to make it again, either with the right fabric where the front and the back kind of look the same or um, just in a different version, um, a different view. Not all the views show the wrong side of the fabric, only the one with the little ruffle does. Okay, so the next and final make for June is my entry for Sew My Style. So, so my style's official pick for June was Helen's Closet, some kind of bathrobe. I saw a bunch of people ended up making um, like an actual bathrobe. Uh, some people shortened it to make it into a top. Some people made it into like a cardigan type thing, a kimono type look that you wear out. Um, but still, I just really wasn't feeling the robe look. I just didn't feel like I would get a lot of wear out of any of those options. So I went back to Butterick 6554. You guys know I don't repeat patterns very often, so when I do repeat one, you know I like it. Um, I had made view C for So My Style Spring Blog Tour this year out of my first adventure with Rayon Poplin. Um, and so this time I made view A, which just has the flutter sleeve and the wrap. There's no flounce or ruffle anywhere. And here is how she turned out. Ta-da! Anyways, it's really, really cute. Um, just as cute as the first one that I made. Um, the sleeves, <coughs> excuse me, the sleeves are adorable. Very comfortable, very flowy. Um, I really love that they are like a shaped, um, 
raglan with a shoulder seam, very flattering. The wrap is is the wrap is not perfect in that it's not totally safe and comfortable. Um, I did find myself futzing with it a lot whenever I wore it just to make sure that it stayed covered up. So I'll probably add a little button and that will be all that I need. I'm not going to mess around with raising the neckline or anything like that. It's not that bad. It's just, just a little bit insecure, but not totally. Um, and yeah, the length is really good. I just really love everything about this dress. The fabric, I'm pretty sure came from a kit that I got from... Fabric Mart Fabrics, not this recent one where I did the haul, but one that I had gotten before. So I'm not 100% sure who makes it or what it is. I feel like it's Art Gallery, but maybe, maybe not. Um, I've had this for a long time. This is Rayon, uh, my favorite fabric. And I really love how the wrap dress, like making this fabric out of a wrap dress, brought out kind of the Asian-ness of the of the fabric. I feel like when I had the fabric out flat, I didn't think it looked Asian at all. And then whenever I put it into a wrap dress, all of a sudden it was like, oh, it's Asian. Um, and then also when I showed this to my boyfriend and one of my friends who does not sew, both of them individually of each other said, it kind of looks like a robe. So I kind of feel like I really won the challenge for Sew My Style and made something robe-like that isn't actually a robe. And to me, that is a win. So yeah, she's really cute, um, very flirty, very fun. Um, and I really like this dress a lot. Again, Butterick 6554. So that is gonna do it for me. Those are all the things that I made in June. If you noticed, I did not get around to a refashion in June. Very sad because that is a challenge of mine to make one refashion a month. So I'm going to try and double up in July and make two refashions. Um, so stay tuned for that. I think I'm going to stick with my plan and turn this one little like ITY knit into a basic little top. Um, that'll be simple. That'll be quick. And um, so hopefully I'll still be able to get two of them done. But stay tuned for my plans video. It'll be up in a few days. Um, and until then, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye.